All right, my man, state your name. Let them know you on Real Talk with Nick. My name is Kevin Williams. I played six years in the NBA. I'm here with my main man, Nick Avelli the King. We're going to shoot the crap right here in Harlem. All right, y'all. Real Talk with Nick. And, and, and let me make this clear. You know, I know we ain't posting regularly like we used to, man. Nick Avelli been working. My man Kev doing his thing, you know. It's cold outside. People don't want to interview. Yeah, it's hibernate. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know. Shit happens, but you know, for those who's with Nick, thick and thin, I appreciate y'all. And we about to let loose and see what the OG have to say about these Knickerbockers, man. It's 25 games. So what you think? Eighth place, if, if, if we could salvage something. We in ninth right now. So, I mean, you know, um, what I'm concerned about is them getting rid of Cam. Uh, they're going to get rid of 48. They're going to get rid of uh, Derrick Rose. That's a concern for yeah. Even though I see Deuce coming in playing good defense, it's more of a defensive effort now that should have been done earlier. But now it's okay. But you 12 and 13, you one one quarter of the season is over, and y'all under 500. So now the next quarter at 50, I want to see how y'all are then, because now you're, you're two-thirds of the way there. So at 50, I'll come back and talk again, and hopefully y'all will win more games than y'all lose, because y'all 12 and 13, one game under five. Y'all can't do 12 and 13 again and expect to be, you know, yeah. to be, because you're, you're going to have to put a, a string of games and wins, eight, nine, ten wins. Okay, and when we speak of that of Julius Randle, man, are you still – High Julius on his game. Julius Randle's been playing his ass off. I have nothing bad to say against Julius Randle. Even when he doesn't play well, he does He does what he has to do. You know, Julius Randle plays his ass off, man. I, I, I apologize to Julius for playing your ass off. I hope everything works out for you. I really now, do. could it be that he has an uh, official point guard in Jalen Brunson? That helps a lot. He still ain't guarding nobody. I mean, that's a given. He's not going to play good defense. But he rebounds and he scores. So that's what we need. He's our scorer. He's been consistent doing that. I don't have nothing bad to say with him. Since Julius, just keep playing the way you're playing. You know, good and bad, you're doing what you have to do. Just keep your head up and just stay consistent like you've been doing. Okay. Now, when we speak of that of R.J. Barrett, I know you had concerns. All right, now, I told you at 12 and 13 what I'm going to say about R.J. Barrett. Right? Get it He's in. the most inconsistent basketball player on the Knicks. With the minutes that they're giving you and the, and the, and the, and the inconsistency that you're giving us, you're not worth that $30 million, man, they gave you. You're not playing like that. You're not playing like a $30 million player, man. And I'm sorry. You my boy and everything. I love you and all that. But I'm going to be truthful in, every, in my assessments, man. This is your fourth year. You're supposed to be killing, man. Everybody that I see in their fourth year that's supposed to be reputable, they coming into their own. Like Ja, you know, DeJounte, Mary, all these guys, third, fourth year guys is coming into their own. And, and you still lagging. I don't know what it is. Man. You yeah. get that money. And you forget about, yo, what profession you in, man. This is an NBA profession. There's no babies allowed here, man. So you're going to have to get yourself together, man. So what is it that you see in RJ that you didn't see last year, man? I mean, we all know I he saw, got paid. I saw RJ more in a leadership role. He had the ball more. He directed the team more. And the team depended on him more. With Jalen there, he's like a loose cannon. And yet he doesn't incorporate his game in there. You know, he doesn't play defense as well as I thought he did. He doesn't. I see, you know, if Deuce didn't play it, I think Donovan Mitchell would have torched them again. If Deuce didn't play. Now you see they playing Deuce, right? Now. Right. You see it's working, right? Right. Okay. Okay. And what was your assessment with the Knicks versus the Cavaliers? Because that was the big I game. I thought that Deuce came in and slowed them down. Kept, like I said, he would slow them down on their offensive sets and speed up our offensive sets. And that's exactly what he did. He didn't score nothing, but he played hell. He played defense, man. and him doing that with one guy out there playing like that, it becomes infective and contagious, and everybody starts playing like that because Deuce has set the tone, and he's a point guard. So you retarded his development. I hope this these next twenty five games you give Deuce the ball and let him develop as a point guard and let him get the team because that's the future. Man. Okay, okay, and, 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 and as far as Dominic Mitchell, do you think he will stop? Because you know we. Beat the, the Cavs by what, 23 points? I think with Deuce throwing them off and putting that pressure on them and then them not having their center, it was a lot of key players that was out against Cleveland and a lot of key players that was out against Atlanta. So don't, 
or read into that. Like we beat you, we beat a depleted team. Both of those two. Listen, wins. the L is an L, man. Nobody cares about whether I'm they gonna ready or not. Tell you what it is, because when you see those guys again and they fully loaded, you are gonna see a different different team. Okay, understand that. Okay, they didn't play against a full. I wanted them to beat a fully equipped team, not a team with their sent out. One of their major scorers out, and then you know Dejounte Murray hurt his ankle. Trey Young got beat up by Deuce. I knew that was gonna happen. You know, you put Deuce on him to leave. That's why he would have been playing if I was a coach from day one, because I know what I got with him. And I know I need him to stop these other guards because Jalen can't guard his mother on a bad day. So basically you saying that Trey Young can't guard Deuce. Trey Young can't guard Deuce, but Deuce could guard him. He took him out of his game. Took him out of his game. Deuce would do that. That kind of pressure he put on you. You know, and that's what I'm saying. That's what's missing. That type of defense is missing. And you got a guy that can do that. You send him on the damn bench, man. And you just going to make you look good, Thibodeau, now, because you doing what the hell I told you to do. You're supposed to have been hell on a plate. Now, I don't know what the hell Jericho doing buried on the goddamn bench, but, you know, I'm not going to say nothing because, you know, like Thibodeau, you set your ways. you like an old pterodactyl dinosaur that ain't going to change. So you're going to just keep going. We're going to ride this out. And then it's going to be bumpy as hell because he's an inconsistent coach, man. Okay. Did you see when um, Trey Young had on the King of New York sneakers, man? Yeah, I saw it. And did you see Deuce step all over them sneakers? He did his ass up, man. You know, like, you got to look at how he played defense, man. You know, his pressure on the ball, man, he throws the, the offense off, man. And that helps us, man. Causes turnovers. You know, he, he's just, you know, like I said, you know, y'all better let him play. You know, y'all retarded his development. Y'all retarded Jericho Sims' development. I'm not really happy about that. You give him a little bit of minutes, man, like that, 16 minutes, and you think we supposed to be happy. He's supposed to be playing even more than that. Okay, okay. All right, so you you, you high on dudes. I've been high on dudes. I've, I've, I've been, listen, you know, like, I'm the type of coach, I'm going to incorporate my players as the game goes on. If I see the game developing and I need got a guy stopped, I'm putting Deuce in there. You understand? I'm, I'm the start of if, if I got to give you, if this is what you start, Evan Fournier, a nigga that can't guard nobody, I'm going to put Deuce in there. I'm going to put him in his position and say, yo, stop him. And we all going to have our scoring because Deuce can stop anybody. That's his size. I'm not going to be putting him on no small four like that dumbass coach did with me. I'm talking about keep him on one or two guard, Deuce could guard him. So, you know, and he's valuable. Okay? So, Thibodeau, you stupid ass scarecrow coach, you better use him. And if you trade Derrick Rose and Fournier and Cam Reddish, you going, you really stupid. I hope you get what you're looking for trading them three key pieces. I mean, well, Fournier, fuck out of here. And, and, and Derrick Rose and Cam Reddish, them two key pieces, right? So, you feel, you still feel that the Knicks need Derrick Rose, man? Yeah, man. They should keep him and let him retire here, man. He can help the guards, man. You know, like a, a, a guy like Derrick Rose, he still can play, but he's a good coach, man. And he can help develop those guards. He can help Deuce. He can help uh, Emmanuel Quigley. He can help, man, in a significant way. You understand? To take us to the next level. And this is just like the Knicks. You just get rid of all our good players, man. Okay. Even the old ones. Okay. Discard them. It's like just like I said, like how they, it's like slavery, man. You treat us like slaves, man. When you can't use us no more, you don't put us up in the front office or help develop the younger players. You just throw us to another team like that. After all the years he did and worked for us, he deserves to, to stay here and retire here in New York. That's okay. just my opinion. All right. Now, you know all the talk about Donovan Mitchell. Everybody should have was acquiring, well, mostly yes. a big portion of Nick fans was saying that Donovan Mitchell should have been part of the Knicks organization. What are they doing? Blasey, blasey. When the Knicks crushed the Cavaliers, man, Donovan and Mitchell shot 8 for 22. If RJ would have shot 8 for 22, he would have been in the doghouse. He RJ ain't been shooting like that. Okay. He's already been in the doghouse. Okay. Okay, he can't guard him. The Deuce McBride was on him and, and quit grind. They guarded Donovan Mitchell. R.J. Barrett was was running around playing a small folk. They're going to put him on there after the way he destroyed him. They put Grimes and, 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 and Deuce on him, okay? And Deuce. those two are playing good. I, I'm, I'm happy Grimes now starting to score better. It took you about 25 games to get 20 points. You should have been did that. 
Okay, you but know, like you're like Grimes, man, you not, you know, like with me, I thought you was gonna come in there and, and set this shit on fire, and that's not what happened. You like a flicker, man. You know, you better put together a bunch of screens again because they're giving you the two guard spot. So you better start scoring more than than, than twenty three. You need, I need 25, 30 from you. Every game, too. Because we need another scorer, man. You know, all we got is Jalen Brunson and and and, and um Julius, Julius Randle. And and RJ, he I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. He could hit 31 game, the next game he did two or four. You don't know what he gonna do. Do you think uh having Jalen Brunson on the roster took away from RJ's game? Could that be the reason why RJ Listen, could man, find himself you know, in the slump. What, what RJ didn't do is adapt. He's not running the floor. You know, like, yo, dude, if I could get ahead of Jalen Brunson, I'm ahead. He'll pass it to me. Yo ass running slow like you got cheesecake all in your ass. You ain't running like you supposed to. You're dribbling. You're just playing out of – you're not playing within the team, the team offense. You're going selfish and you look bad because you're not in shape, man. I mean, you look a little better now. But, dude, I, I, yo, dude, this is your year. You know, like – they gave him that money. The worst thing they did was give him the money before this year. Because if they wouldn't have gave him that money, I guarantee he would have been playing different. I'm telling you. Take my word for it. Okay. And what's your assessment on Mitchell Robinson, man? I love Mitchell Robinson, man. I just wish, man, it was, this was a team that go inside, man. I, did you see how he played, man? He played his ass off, man. You know, but he don't get the ball enough, man. He could be that dude in the middle, man. I'm talking about he could be that dude, man, in the middle. He's dominant, man. And we don't bring him out. We just shoot the ball, jacking the ball. You don't see him offensive rebounding like he's doing. Just imagine him and Jericho out there, and you got goddamn Obi at the three. You don't even hear about Obi, no. I mm. told you his fucking development would be retarded beyond repair. And now I don't even know if he's going to come back like, like how he is. He, you got to play Obi and let Obi play, man. You know, get his confidence back. Obi ain't playing with confidence no more. And that's what happens when you bury him on the bench like that. And this is due to uh, Julius Randle. Uh, it's high due performance. to a lot of intangible factors. It's also due to the fact that you got other players playing well. And when he he's changing up the rotation, he's not keeping Obi in his rotation. He's burying him down as he's changing his rotation. Obi Menace has gone down since he's changed the rotation. He done... Cam went out, because Cam said, this shit here is crazy. No motherfucking way. I'm the like, one game. I'm playing the next game. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know what the, it's the coach, man. Anytime you see a great player like that say I went out, it's the coach. Man. Damn. And, and everybody knows it. So now, since Cam went out, y'all want to unload Fournier and Rose. Unload Fournier ass, but you keep Rose. You going to unload Fournier and Cam. Cam don't want to be here. I understand. Let him go. But don't get rid of Derek Rose. That'll right. be the worst thing you ever did. You get rid of him. All right, man. And that's what it is. I want to thank the that's OG right. for coming on Real Talk with that's Nick. That's right. Listen, let me say this. Kanye West, I don't support what he said. You understand? He lied and said the Holocaust didn't occur. It did. You understand? And then you say you love Nazis. See, this is what's wrong when you drink Clorox and shit. You drink oh, that shit. Clorox and anything go wrong. <laughs> we out.